Hey guys, this is Bill here from HardwareObvious.com. This is Max, what's up guys? Um, today we're going to be bringing you guys the first video in the unboxing section of our custom PC building guide. Today in this video we're going to be looking at um, the case that Max and I are going to be using for our folding rig. It's the Cooler Master Half High Airflow 912 case. Um, it's a mid tower that suits our needs, so let's go ahead and get with the unboxing. So here it comes, it's packaged pretty well. Um, you need a little help there, Max? Uh, I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no biggie, it's just styrofoam. Yeah, Max has got this. So, pretty bulky case. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's packaged pretty well. Um, It'll survive my unboxing, so that's good. Yeah. Alright, let's see. So as you can see now, this is already a pretty bulky case. So we're telling you guys about um, basically picking a case that suits your needs. So since Max and I knew that we were going to have some pretty high-end parts, um, we decided on the mid tower. Um, if you're going for something small like a home theater PC, you can definitely find cases that'll suit your needs. Okay, so here's the case. Got a nice uh, shrimp wrap over it. As you can see here, it's got that little, uh, what, do you, what would you call that? Half logo? Yeah, it's got this nice half logo imprinted on it. Um, pretty solid feeling. Um, pretty bulky. Uh, what is it, aluminum? Yep. Another thing to note about it is it's a lot wider than other cases. As you can see here, this is typically not the average size of your case, so it's kind of nice if you want to put a large CPU heat sink because you have tons mm -hmm. of space from the motherboard to the edge of the case where you can fit a large one to get good cooling. Yep, that's definitely going to help us out. We're using um, the Mega Halum, that's how you pronounce it, which is a pretty bulky CPU heat sink. And while I throw screws on the ground, I'm going to take off this side panel. Um, as you can see here, we didn't choose a case with a side window just because we're not, we don't really need that for this rig. Um, so let's check out the inside. <clears throat> Something you'd want to check out if you're looking to build um, a gaming rig is, what the heck is this? Probably cables. Um, is the distance from the back of your case to kind of the hard drive bays? Because um, in a lot of cases, for instance, um, you may or may not have enough space for a high-end video card because they can get pretty long. So for instance, I know like the 5970 is over a foot. So before you'd look in, before you'd um, go ahead and, you know, just buy a case, you want to check out um, kind of the length of here and make sure that your video card fits. And again, like Max was saying, not particularly true in this case, but kind of the width as well if you're going for like a CPU, um, a big and tall CPU heatsink. All right, another thing to note is that this case is actually designed to fit the extremely long graphics cards. Um, as you can see here, these are removable. The hard drive cages you can actually completely take out and stick your hard drive somewhere else so you can fit a card that will stretch. And also, um, if you can see here, they have a 2.5 inch mounting slot, which is perfect for SSDs or notebook hard drives if you'd like to stick those in there. And this is also, you can unscrew it and remove it if your power supply is longer and needs extra space. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys can see, it's got a really big top um, airflow vent. So if you want to um, definitely push out that hot air um, with an exhaust, um, it's got a bottom intake. So your power supply, you want you definitely want to turn it fan facing down so it draws cool air from the bottom. As you can see here, it's raised up a little. Um, kind of interesting, um, in the back it has these rubber, um, I don't know what you call these, but for water cooling purposes. Yeah, if you want to mount an external radiator, then you can uh, run the pipes through here and you don't have to drill any holes. Also, if you look at the top, Cooler Master has um, pre-drilled holes for, I think this is a 200 millimeter fan. Um, it could be 250, but uh, they ha they sell their own high airflow fans that were um, specific to this series of cases. So you can do that or you can do the standard 120s right here. Okay, um, another quick thing. Before I wrap this up, is uh, this 
case comes with, I think, two fans. It comes with a rear exhaust fan and a front intake fan. But again, it ha definitely has the, um, the option of installing a lot more fans, which um, we're definitely going to do. Yeah, it has rate. one spot right here on the side. I think this is a 120 millimeter and 140 millimeter, the two holes right there. Mm -hmm. And then um, two more on top. And also, this case is great for cable management too. As you can see, there's cutouts along the side here and down here for cables from the power supply. And it's also nice um, that it has this large CPU cutout in case you ever want to um, change the heat sink, mm -hmm. change an extremely large heat sink that needs a backplate on the motherboard without actually having to remove the motherboard. So all nice features that are becoming more and more standard in modern cases today. Okay, just going to do a quick 360 view. And then um, phone will be what you guys should look for if you're looking for a new case. I just a quick look at the front panel too. So you have your power reset and just uh, headphones and mic and then two USB ports. So nothing really fancy. Pretty standard. Then you have three um, 5.25 inch drive bays and then a fourth one if you want or it can be converted in, into a 3.5 with this um, faceplate right there. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, again, um, they have, I think these are dust filters. Yeah, they have little um, screens inside, so uh -huh. it'll let a lot of air in while keeping your case clean. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, so that's our quick unboxing and review kind of on the Cooler Master Half 912. Um, great mid tower and perfect for our needs. Alright, one last thing, guys, is. um. Cooler Master has a pretty cool feature on the back of the case. Max is going to explain. So, a lot of motherboards today will come with something like this, which has um, the headers for a USB connector that you plug straight into the motherboard, and then it gives you extra ports on the back. And um, Cooler Master has included this sort of vertical mounted um, slot right here, which you normally see over here, which are for the graphics cards and other things like that. But in this case, you can mount a USB um, port right here and then stick that straight into the motherboard and it will not take up any slots that you might need for SLI or Crossfire or sound card or something back here which could be inconvenient so it's just another nice thing to note and uh, kinda cool how new cases are evolving today and incorporating these new features okay guys so we just finished the unboxing now we're gonna give you guys some quick like a quick overview of what you should look for um, when you're going out and buying a case. So a lot of times your computer case will come with accessories um, which is pretty nice to them. In this case Cooler Master was nice enough to include some stuff for uh, tool list, drive installation, and um, cable ties, and uh, motherboard standoffs, and a bunch of screws which is which are pretty important. So Max and I actually wanted to talk about that in terms of um, the motherboard. Alright so this case is a mid-tower, so that usually means that you'll be able to mount um, a pretty fair-sized motherboards, um, but not... Uh, this one actually might have screw holes for the extended ATX form factors. But if you're looking to buy a motherboard that only has like uh, four PCIe extension slots, or four extension slots total, that um, only goes down to about here, then a micro, I mean, uh, yeah, a uh, micro ATX case will be fine. A mini tower is usually what they call them. And um, if you want to get into the extremely large motherboards, like the dual CPU ones, like the EVGA SR2, then this case will definitely not be sufficient. Um, this is just one. This is, I think, the smallest case in HAF's lineup. They also have the HAF 922 and 932. Um, for you know better airflow. A uh, quick thing I just want to go over is that in general with a computer case you want to look for intake fans so you're going to be taking in cool air from the front of your case and I then you're going to be... this one actually has slots for two intake fans right here. Yeah. So that's good. And then you want to be exhausting it out um, the back of your case. So naturally you're going to have like a GPU in this area and your CPU in this area so naturally hot air rises up so the cool intake over here will blow and then the, um, the hot air will basically rise out and exhaust out the back and out the top. And you also have of course your PSU here bringing in a little bit of intake from the bottom. Um, so general, generally you just want that clean airflow, and um, of course stuff like good cable management etc helps and we're going to cover that in a later video.
Okay guys, this has been um, the case unboxing part um, video of our unboxing section of our custom PC building guide. Uh, once again, we're hardwarehobbyists.com, so check us out. Anything you gotta say, Max? Um, nope, pretty much covered it. Thanks guys, see you later. Alright, see you guys. Thank you.